Good morning everybody. Drinking tea this morning. It's really cold. Gotta have my herbal tea. Um, this video is going to be something a little different. And um, as many of you friends know, Mike and I have been doing research and we watch a lot of documentaries and videos. And it gets irritating that you can't get any information on news. It just seems like the news anymore is just about crime and of course all this political garbage that is going on. You know, they're so focused on, you know, this political party or, you know, Trump and this that a lot of important breakthroughs and archaeological discoveries and things like that just get left behind and that is what is so great about YouTube because there's so many channels that are keeping an eye on this news that is coming out and anyway Mike and I had watched a video um, we watch the Zoar Stargate channel and they have a lot of um, different stuff um, a lot of like archaeology and scientific breakthroughs and um, you know just a lot of different stuff about this wisdom and knowledge that is getting to be put out <clears throat> put out there um, so I just want to share something that I thought was really interesting because the implications are huge now you're not going to hear this on the news because there is a great controversy about it. Um, the evolutionists don't want this information out because it disproves evolution. The early earth creationists don't want this information out because it proves that man is older than 6,000 years. Gobekli Tepe does that all by itself, you know, in some of these other ruins that they are finding. But Mike and I had watched this video, and you can go on YouTube, and um, there's a guy named Greg Braden, and he has a series on Gaia, apparently, that is called Missing Links. And a few of the clips come out on um, the Zoar Stargate, and it was like wow now me being the skeptic I don't take anybody's word for it I have to go check it out so I started doing I just spilled tea on my papers <laughs> so I started going checking it out so now I've been doing a little bit of light reading but this is an actual scientific paper and I'm gonna put the link down below yeah, it's um, very scientific and a little difficult reading. And Bonnie, I couldn't get it at first, so I actually had to read it out loud. Since when you read things out loud to yourself, you have to go slower and you're able to retain things more. Because this was... Yeah. The Origin of Human Chromosome 2. An ancestral telomere to telomere fusion. Now, scientists have always um, said that we have a very close DNA, chromosomes close to the great apes. And this proves, you know, that we evolved from apes. Uh, they have two more than we do, chromosomes. We only have 23 pairs. When we're watching this video, it was like, oh my God, a light just went off. And it's like, what in the world? You know, unfortunately, we cannot prove our origin 100%. We can't. There's no way. But this article, the scientific paper, might help. Now I've got some pictures here that I found online. 
they have discovered that our chromosome 2 now the great apes have one pair of the chromosome 2 which is very similar to ours scientists geneticists geneticists have now proven they have seen that our chromosome 2 has been cut and fused together and that redundant genetic material has been removed now as you can see in this picture they know right where it has been cut and fused together now I'm gonna read the first paragraph of the scientific paper we conclude that the locust cloned in Cosmid C8.8 and C29b is the relic of an ancient telomere to telomere fusion and marks the point at which two ancestral ape chromosomes fuse to give rise to human chromosome 2. A lot of these scientists are saying this is intelligent direct manipulation. This couldn't have happened by accident. This is not evolution. So that raises a whole bunch of questions, doesn't it? And whether you believe in God or ancient aliens, that's not the point. The point is, who fused, cut and fused, our genetic material. Now what's interesting too is scientists say that humans suddenly appeared on the earth 200,000 years ago and we've basically gone unchanged for that time and the scientists they were interviewing in this video he said this couldn't have happened by accident that should have disproved evolution but because it's such a hot topic and controversy and like I said you can go on YouTube now and oh chromosome 2 debunked for either side but when you look at this science how can you disprove this and as you can see from the picture they know exactly what part was cut out and the parts are fused together they can see this and you can read this in this paper and whether you want to believe this or not that's fine this is just you know something that we found and that's what you know we try to do is just find different information that the news and PBS is not going to tell you But I thought this was very interesting because this is what makes us human. This is what makes us unique. So, in my humble opinion, it's definitely something that an intelligent designer manipulated our genes. So thank you everybody and thank you for watching and I want to thank, um, we have a new source, thank you so much, I appreciate you sending us information. Um, this person has sent us 16 leaked videos from Watchtower and we're going through them and uh, we'll probably be doing some view videos in the future. And um, thank you, everybody, so much. We appreciate all the love and support. And we love you guys. Oh, and Vinny, thank you for the video. As usual, we love you. And it just appears that there's some who don't know all what's going on. And it it's really sad you know that they want to take sides without knowing all what's going on 
So we love everybody and we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.